The use of GPS has become a staple in monitoring external loads of field-based sports. Understanding the activity profiles of match play can provide coaches and practitioners with information to guide preparation strategies for competition. Therefore, the purpose of this research is to investigate the influence of tactical formations on average and peak activity profiles. Furthermore, it was examined if differences existed between halves and positional groups for these activity profiles. Method 24 male outfield soccer players were monitored during match play via GPS. These participants were part of a soccer club, participating in the Major League Soccer 2018 season. The data from 31 recorded league games were obtained. Files from players who completed a full 90-minute game were collected for whole period analysis. Formations were assigned prior to collection and cross-referenced with an online football analysis database. Data was sorted by playing position, tactical formation, and period of play. The metrics collected from the GPS units included were the following. Peak intensities over specified durations were calculated using relative speed. The maximum value for each peak intensity variable was used to calculate each of the five moving averages. Results The table shows the match activity profiles for the seven positions, grouped periods of play as well as the four tactical formations used throughout the season. Whole game demands Centre-backs had greater activity profiles in the first half compared to the second half, for all whole period metrics, in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Similarly, strikers covered more distance in the first half, in all formations played, compared to the second half. When playing in the 4-2-3-1 formation, defensive midfielders and wingers covered slightly more distance in the first half than the second half of match play. All positions displayed a greater average speed in the first half than the second half in 4-2-3-1, 3-4-3, and 4-3-3 formations. The acceleration and deceleration profiles for full backs were greater in the 4-3-1-2 formation than all other formations. The average speed in the first half for defensive midfielders playing in the 4-3-3 formation was greater than all other formations. Distance covered and average speed for attacking midfielders were greater in both the 4-3-1-2 and 4-2-3-1 formations, for both halves, compared to the 3-4-3 formation. Similarly, strikers covered greater overall distance at a higher average speed, in both halves, in the 4-3-1-2 formation, than the 4-2-3-1 and 4-3-3 formations. Peak Demands when comparing peak intensities, wingers and strikers both had greater outputs in the first half than the second half in the 4-3-3 and 4-2-3-1 formations. Furthermore, in the 4-3-3 formation, centre-backs demonstrated greater intensities across all moving averages in the first half compared to the second half. Attacking midfielders also had greater first half outputs for all moving averages compared to the second half in the 4-3-1-2 formation. In the 4-3-1-2 formation, the first half peak intensity for strikers were greater than both the 3-4-3 and 4-2-3-1 formations. In the 4-3-1-2 formation, centre-backs and attacking midfielders had greater peak intensities across all first half averages compared to the 3-4-3 formation. Defensive midfielders had greater second-half peak intensities in the 3-4-3 formation compared to the 4-2-3-1 formation. Conversely, in the 4-3-1-2 formation, centre-backs had a greater second-half peak intensity in the 1, 3, and 5-minute moving averages. Furthermore, centre-backs also had greater second-half peak intensities compared to the first half in the 1 and 2 minute moving averages when playing in a 3-4-3 formation.